Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the methods to control the inverter output voltage. Friends, as we discussed earlier about three phase inverter, about a single phase inverter, but now we will be talking about a method how we can control the output voltage of an inverter. So friends, there are five ways through which we can control the output voltage of an inverter. They are, so number one would be single pulse width modulation. Number two would be multiple pulse width modulation. And number three would be sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Number four is modified sinusoidal pulse width modulation. And the last technique would be phase displacement control method. So friends, there are five control techniques through which we can control the output voltage of an inverter. Number one is single pulse width modulation. We will be using or we will be varying the width of a pulse to control the output voltage, which we will be discussing in the upcoming lectures. Number two is multiple pulse width modulation in which we will be using multiple pulses and the width changes. We will be changing the width of multiple pulses to control the output voltage of an inverter. Number three is sinusoidal pulse width modulation, where we will be introducing a sine wave to control the output voltage of an inverter. And number four is modified sinusoidal pulse width modulation, where we will be modifying the sine wave amplitude and width to control the output voltage of an inverter and the last would be phase displacement control method where we will be changing the phase displacement method so friends this is all about control technique of an inverter in the upcoming lectures we will be talking about all this control methodology in detail thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ikeda and stay tuned with ikeda thank you so much